Welcome to Movie Speeching. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take good care. 57 Seconds is the name of the movie. Please like and subscribe to get every update. At an airport, a plane tries to take off while police open fire on it. Inside the plane, Franklin knew they were about to crash and saw his life flash before his eyes. He's a tech blogger named Remedy and he writes about achieving optimal health. Sitting next to him is Sig, the owner of a pharmaceutical company that markets a drug despite knowing that it is highly addictive and deadly, causing thousands of deaths. It all started three months ago. Franklin gets a job selling tickets at a special event because he longs to interview Anton, a health and technology expert who is working to find ways to achieve optimal health with Without medication. Unfortunately, Franklin is late and makes a bad impression so he doesn't get a full explanation of how he has to scan everyone's tribands to check their tickets. When Franklin makes a mistake while scanning and is harshly scolded by his boss, his colleague Jayla stands up for him and the two end their conversation. They get along really well and Franklin asks Jayla out, but instead of giving him her number, she sets an alarm on his phone so he can pick her up after the presentation is over. End. Franklin then runs into the bathroom and meets Andy, who steals and hacks a triband from his boss so that Franklin can attend the presentation because he cannot afford a ticket. With this group, Franklin gets past the guards at the backstage door just in time to see Anton arrive with his mysterious assistant Ingram. Franklin tries to hide behind the curtain, but Anton still finds him and asks who and why. He appears to be talking to his assistant and Franklin notices Anton has a fancy ring on his finger. Anton also guesses that Franklin's triband isn't his, but he tells him to stay and enjoy the show. Anton then walks onto the stage and is greeted by a very enthusiastic crowd, except for Rene and Calvert, who look very serious and lost. Anton started the presentation by talking about Triband, his invention. It's a bracelet that people wear on their wrist that monitors their physiology, then decodes their DNA and develops an individualized health plan for each user. It also sends notifications with reminders about when, what to eat, and how to exercise. However, Anton has a big announcement today. He created Triband 5, which can give users the natural pleasure of doing things that are good for your health without having to be reminded remember. It would also eliminate the need for medications, including those used for diabetes, high blood pressure, and even addiction. Meanwhile, backstage, one of the bouncers stuns the other with a taser then rushes toward the stage, hitting Franklin in the process. The guard fires his gun in the air and says that Anton's company is controlling everyone but at that moment Franklin hits him with a rolling table and gives the other guards a chance to stop these guys. Rene and Calvert are unhappy with this development, but Anton is grateful for Franklin's help and tells him he will have an interview later. Before leaving, Anton tells Franklin to check his bleeding hand. Franklin then had his hand bandaged and the head of security took his triband as evidence. The guy leaves and Franklin suddenly notices Anton's ring on the ground, so he picks it up when his phone rings Jayla's alarm. Franklin looked at the ring closer and when he touched the stone, he suddenly found himself repeating the last moment. The head of security says the same thing. Jayla's alarm goes off and Franklin finds the ring. Scared and worried, Franklin covered the ring with bandages before leaving for the restaurant. While waiting for Jayla, he looks back at the ring and when the waitress checks on him, she touches the ring and the moment is reset. Franklin checks the time on his phone to confirm that the ring is going back in time and tries to use it again, but the stone has turned white and needs time to recharge. When the waitress returned, he held the ring away from her. He then performed another test using the timer on his phone and discovered that the ringtone could go back exactly 57 seconds. Just then Jayla arrives and they decide to go somewhere interesting. They chat and bond during their date and Franklin learns that Jayla is an artist. In return, he told her about his work writing articles about how technology affects health, some of which were even published in a newspaper. Suddenly, Jayla kisses Franklin and they end up going to his messy apartment. As they start to get cranky, Jayla notices a woman's purse in her locker and thinks he has a girlfriend so she wants to leave. Franklin immediately rewinds time and closes the locker before Jayla can see the wallet, but then she sees an image of a woman and tries to leave. Using the ring, Franklin resets the moment and hides both the wallet and the photo before taking Jayla to his bed. Now things are heating up. Every time Jayla makes a naughty request, Franklin will turn around and do it before she asks so he can look like a great lover. The next morning, Rene and Calvert go to see their boss, who turns out to be sick. He wonders if the attack was just a publicity stunt and orders Calvert to follow Franklin to look for clues. Sig also asks Rene to find out information about the new triband and find a way to prove it's not real, because if it prevents people from taking the drug, he won't make any more money. Meanwhile, Franklin and Jayla are having breakfast together when suddenly Franklin's car is towed away while Calvert secretly watches. Franklin tries to use the ring to stop him, but he's not fast enough and now he has to find enough money to get his car back. After watching a commercial on television, Franklin came up with an idea. He visited a casino and started using his ring to win all the time. Before long, he makes a lot of money and attracts the attention of the crowd, including Calvert, who finds this very suspicious. Once he had enough money, Franklin bought a nice new car and decided he could continue to make more money. 
He returned to the casino and won more money, but when he tried to leave, he was attacked by casino staff. Franklin immediately went back in time and tried to sneak out, even deciding to leave the money behind, but they still followed and beat him in the parking lot. They assumed Franklin was cheating and tried to convince him to confess, but soon Calvert arrived and called them, so the staff let Franklin go after asking him never to come back. Later, Calvert invites Franklin to lunch and tries to get him to confess how he did it, but Franklin says he was just lucky. Calvert then invited him to meet Sig, but Franklin refused because he knew Sig was behind the drug that had killed thousands of people. Calvert decided to give his car to him. Sometime later, Jayla visited Franklin and was surprised to see that he had bought new furniture to make his apartment much nicer. While using Franklin's computer, she discovers a wallpaper of a woman, and Franklin explains, is her twin sister, who died of a drug overdose four years ago. She was in a car accident and gave Sig drugs, causing her to become an addict. Franklin sells serious articles to the newspaper under his real name, but on his blog he uses the moniker Remedy to denounce evil enterprises like Sig's. Jayla calls him a hero and promises to keep it a secret, so Franklin reveals that he bought him a bunch of painting supplies. The couple was preparing to drive the new car when Franklin received a call from Anton, telling him he was ready to serve. In fact, Ingram was there to pick him up. When Franklin arrived at the office, Anton gave him two tribands for him and Jayla. They then talk about Anton's invention, and he explains that he hopes to eliminate medicine altogether. The idea is not only to prevent disease, but also prevent accidents, and Anton plans to use a special substance containing quantum particles to achieve this. This. He ends the interview by telling Franklin to follow his sense of justice. That evening, Franklin wonders if he should agree to meet with Sig to try to get him to admit his crimes, and Jayla tells him to go ahead. The next day, Calvert introduces Sig to Franklin, who immediately mentions his sister and punches Sig in the face. He then goes back in time and pretends to respect Sig while they discuss his work. Calvert has told Sig about Franklin's luck at the casino, so he wants to bet. If Franklin can guess what will happen after he whistles, he will pay him hundreds of thousands of dollars for every article he writes praising his business. If he fails, he will write five articles at half the current rate. Franklin accepts and guesses that a dog is coming, but when Sig whistles, one of his models comes over to kiss and massage him. However, However, Franklin rewinded time and guessed correctly, so now he has a new job. After Franklin leaves, Sig mentions that Anton is definitely behind all of this, so he wants to keep Franklin close to him. In the evening, Franklin meets Jayla, who says the place will be sold. However, Franklin explains that he only wants to gain Sig's trust to access his files and expose the company. He promised to use the money for good things like improving their lives, and even dared to take his sister's ring to propose to Jayla, who quickly agreed. The next day, Franklin suggested to Sig that they should plan a big event-style event to rebrand the company in the next few months, a sneaky way to avoid having to write a bunch of articles brilliant. Sig liked the idea and Franklin was given his own office in the house. When he found himself alone, one of the models tried to attack him, but Franklin immediately refused and said he was caught. This frustrates Sig, who was following Franklin while hoping to obtain blackmail material. He tells Renee and Calvert to come up with a new plan to find out how Franklin performed his trick. Soon Franklin and Jayla moved into a beautiful house to start a new life. Sig invites them to Miami on his private plane and gets them off the tribands under the pretext of corporate politics, but he really thinks Anton is helping Franklin pull the trick. The group goes to a casino and Franklin starts winning again using the ring, but neither Sig nor security can detect foul play. Renee befriends Jayla to try to get information from her, but Jayla is clueless. Later, when Franklin and Jayla are dancing, Franklin is shocked to discover Ingram watching them, so he decides to hide the ring in his pocket. Moments later, the group was sharing drinks when suddenly a man approached them and opened fire forcing Sig to pay for the deaths he had caused. Jayla finally gets shot so Franklin grabs his ring and immediately rewinds time. When the man approached them, Franklin stopped him with a bottle to the head. When they return home, Franklin sees the media calling him a hero, and Jayla agrees. She also reminds him about his upcoming art show, and Franklin promises that he will be there. Suddenly, the TV news reveals the identity of the attacker, and Franklin realizes that he knows him. The shooter's wife worked for Sig, and one day she died at the office, but he doesn't. This topic, the guy appeared on the screen and said they should investigate the company because they were blackmailing everyone. The next day, Franklin asks Renee about the dead woman's file saying you will have to clear that story up as well. Renee promises to look into this, but then rushes to warn Sig. Calvert also thinks Franklin is dangerous because he thinks both attacks are intended to make him look better. With a plan in mind, Sig gives the file to Franklin, who discovers it is empty. Sig blames this on Renee's incompetence and gives Franklin another gift for helping him discover all these problems in his business. Moments later, the duo showed up at a bar outside of town. Sig shared some photos and gave Franklin his car, then he took her upstairs where a group of women were waiting. Franklin tried to say no but at that moment he realized that his drink was poisoned and he could not defend himself. The women drag him away for fun and Sig records the whole thing. 
When Franklin woke up, it was midnight. He returns home in his new car and discovers Anton there, who has apparently bought all of Jayla's artwork. Anton teases Franklin for working for Sig and leaves, so now Jayla can go after Franklin for missing his event and coming back smelling of alcohol. The two began arguing about Franklin's work ethics, and when Franklin pointed out that she appreciated the money he made, she tried to leave. Franklin chased her, and while struggling they accidentally fell into a cliff, so he quickly went back in time to fix it. When they reappear in the house, Jayla can tell that something strange has happened and Franklin realizes that the people who touch him when this happens will also remember the flashback. Franklin explains how it works and Jayla realizes that he used the ring on her too, which is something he always knew what to say or do to her. Feeling like their relationship was a lie, Jayla left, so Franklin decided it was time to end it. The next day, Franklin walks up to Renee with a gun to ask her for the combination to her safe. She immediately screams for help, so Franklin turns around and tries again, but accidentally touches an object on the table that injures him and accidentally shoots. After another rewind, he gagged her and made her write down the code, so he reset it again and tried the numbers on the safe, but discovered that they were fake. Frustrated, Franklin rewinds again and places a cushion on Renee's lap to stretch her legs and make her give the real fuck. With another reset, he tries the number and it works, so he rewinds again and this time he just tells Renee that he'll be working in her office all afternoon. After that, Franklin waited for Renee to leave and then opened the safe to steal all the evidence. Later, Franklin returns home and asks Andy to help him reveal all the evidence of Sig's crimes during an important basketball game, but Andy hesitates because he could lose his job. However, Franklin deposits a large amount of money into his account and Andy immediately accepts. The next day, Franklin prepares to leave town when he continues to call Jayla to no avail. When the final match begins, Andy broadcasts the presentation for Franklin gave on the big screen, but it also reaches all media. The video shows security footage of Calvert killing the shooter's wife and how she was killed because she knew the truth about Sig's drugs. As the whole world witnessed all of this, Franklin tried to leave the house but was knocked out before he could get into his car. Moments later, Franklin wakes up in an airport where guards drag him onto a private plane while Sig orders him to tell the world that his video was fake. Franklin refuses to cooperate, but Sig reveals that he has also kidnapped Jayla. As they got closer, Jayla told him she was proud of what he had done and Franklin asked her to use the ring. Jayla touched the rock and stepped on the guard's foot to escape, running towards the oncoming police car. Franklin is pushed into the plane and it takes off, flying past the police who open fire on them. A bullet causes the engine to fail and Calvert wants to land, but Sig tells him to continue. Franklin wonders what to do with the ring and Sig suddenly touches him, causing time to go back. When Sig realized what the ring could do, he tried to reset it several times to keep the plane from crashing, but 57 seconds was not enough to stop the bullet from hitting the engine. Franklin smiled, not caring what would happen if it meant Sig's death. Sig desperately ran to Calvert to stop him from turning back, but it was too late and the plane crashed. Seconds later, the police and Jayla arrived at the scene of the accident. Renee, Calvert, and Franklin survived the crash, but shortly after escaping, the plane exploded with Sig inside. Soon after, Anton also appeared with his assistant and revealed that Ingram was willing to let Franklin have the ring because he was the perfect candidate to try it on. It turns out the ring is made from quantum crystals that Anton discovered, and now he wants Franklin to work for him. However, Franklin refuses, claiming that the ring Ring's power is as addictive as Sig's drugs and therefore dangerous. Anton wants the ring right then, but Franklin throws it to the ground and destroys it. This causes Ingram to do some calculations, and Anton shockingly says that the offer still stands because he needs someone who can tell him no. Franklin again said no and returned the tribands to Anton, then he left with Jayla to build a life together without this strange technology. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video.